Alrighty guys, it is the Def King here, back with another video, and welcome back to the Advanced Series, guys. Welcome back to your fourth episode, I think it is now. And um, in today's tutorial, we're going to be learning about a few common built-in functions that you're going to need to know for the future. Now, um, the reason why I'm kind of teaching you about these now, which I probably could have mentioned in the beginner series, but I kind of just forgot about these, and these are just important things you're going to need to know, because uh, they're pretty common ones that you're going to use. So, um, yeah. But anyways, guys, before we get into the video, be sure to leave a like, okay, because uh, it helps, I think. And also, if you're new to the channel, be sure to watch the videos before this and the beginner series, or else you might get very confused. So, yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and start. Alright, guys, so first things first, let's go ahead and um, make a script in the workspace so there we go we're gonna insert a script there and um, I'm gonna be showing you guys a few of the common built-in functions now the functions I'm gonna be showing you in today's video are these ones okay now these are kind of random they don't really correlate with each other too much but basically what they do is you know just very important and they're pretty common and I need to I need you guys to know them for future tutorials so we're gonna go ahead and start off with get children now also guys I'm sorry for being a little bit quiet right now it's um, kind of late at night and my my parents are sleeping so uh, <laughs> yeah anyways so anyways so what we're gonna do now is teach you about this one okay so we got get children here now get children what does get children do okay so for example if we start our character okay or if we start the game right um, okay so basically I, it takes so long to load man this is so annoying but basically I'm gonna be teaching you about get children okay so get children it, what it is it, it gives you a table okay now let me show you what I mean so if we start the game right now okay this is me okay and I go in my workspace you can see I have my character right here in the workspace right walk around in the workspace this is him right here okay now if I go into here okay if I click this little arrow I have all of the children of my character in here right now basically what get children does is I could do game dot or no sorry I could do um, game dot workspace dot tap water rblx which is my username and then get children and it would return all of the children into a variable which is what I normally do so um, character children right equals game dot workspace dot tap for RBLX, get children so basically it would get all of my um, all of my parts in here and all of my instances I mean everything in here would become a part of the table and it would make a table called character children so yeah that's what get children does it basically creates a table off of a variable so or off of like you know something uh, off of an instance I guess so yeah basically that's what it does it gets all the children pretty self-explanatory and now with that like okay like so for example right look okay actually I know a really cool thing we could do okay look so if we had um, a few parts right here okay we had we had this part we had part one Actually, I'll just name it one, two, and then we had um, three. Okay, we got all three of these parts. Okay, now um, what we can do is we can make them all into a model, which is just kind of groups them together. And actually, I'll make a folder real quick. I'm gonna put them all into a folder. So I have all of these parts right here. Put them into a folder. We're gonna call it parts. Okay, Th these are our parts right here, right? They're in a folder. Now, what I could do with these parts is I could delete all of them um, really simply. Now, let me show you what I mean. So, if you guys don't remember, but when I taught you about tables, um, I, I what I did was I did local, um, you know, local part one equals game dot workspace dot part one, and then I did the same thing for this one. I did local part two. Now, there's an easier way to do this, which is just getting the children of the folder. So, what I could do is local um, parts is equal to game dot workspace dot parts get children now basically what it's what this is doing is getting all of these parts right here and is putting them into a table called parts now what I can do is I can loop through parts so for IV in pairs parts um, do and then I can do V destroy so basically um, you should know what this means. Um, this is a for I. This is a for in pairs loop, which I taught you about. Basically, it's saying for everything in the table, um, loop through it, and then this is the value. So this is what it is. So, for example, it's going to loop through the first part, which is part one, and it's going to go part destroy, and that's the second one, and then it's gonna part destroy, and the third one obviously, and then it'll just destroy that one too. So I'm going to put a wait function on it so we can see it live, and um, I'll just run it and actually just watch it from here. So like I deleted it. 
deleted it, boom. So yeah, it deletes it like that. That's pretty cool. It's an easy way to do that. And um, yeah, that's, that's pretty useful function. You'll be using that a lot later on. And that's what it does. So yeah, let's go ahead and put that all the way down here now. Okay. Next thing, wait for child. Now, wait for child is very, very important. I'm not sure I've taught you guys about this yet. I don't think I did. But basically, wait for child, what it does is um, it basically... It, it waits for the child, right? So you're probably wondering, what do you mean wait for child? So for example, right, in Roblox, do you guys, I mean, you guys know that the scripts, whenever the game starts, the scripts run like instantly, right? Because there's no wait, nothing's waiting for it. The scripts will run instantly. So if I wanted to, if I were to do this, if I were to do um, game dots, okay, wait, wait, wait. If I were to do game dot players, um, let me delete this real quick, that's getting my way. <laughs> if I were to do game dot players, dot tap water rblx which is my username um i could do local player or local character is equal to game dot players or no game dot workspace my bad this would be giving my character right this would give me my character and basically this will actually error this, this is, is the, the code is correct right if i go into game and i go into workspace remember i had tap on rblx in, in the workspace right so the code is correct and it should be working but it actually is going to give me an error let me show you just why so basically if you saw right there it says right here workspace script for or workspace workspace script line for basically it gave me an error and it says tap on rblx is not a valid member of the workspace but if you go in the workspace i'm right there so why does it say that? And the reason why it says this is actually because, um, I'm sorry, I'm so quiet. <laughs> the reason why it says this is actually because, um, you know, the, the character loads in, it has to load in, right? But the script runs so fast that it actually runs before the character's even in the game. So how you fix this is you do game.workspace wait for child. Um, wait, oh my gosh, that's annoying. Wait for child and then boom so now it's going to do the same exact thing but it's gonna wait for the child so now it has it now it didn't give him the error because it waited for the child and it got the child it's because it loaded in so basically you're gonna use this for you know pretty much because you know just to wait for stuff to load in I don't know if that makes sense but you see what I mean I hope and basically you can put a variable inside of here too if you wanted to but the name I wanted was tap on RBLX because I put that in quotes as well so yeah that's what that does I uh, hope that made sense. Alright, so wait for wait for child. Okay, sorry. Okay, so get service. What does get service do? So in Roblox there are a bunch of services, okay? Um for example, if you go on the right side here in the explorer, the workspace or the players lighting replicated for first uh, replicated storage, server script, service, server storage, these are all services. That's what they are. That's what they're called. There's, there's, there's services, right? And they, you know, they serve a purpose, obviously. And basically, how you get these, or how you get them into your, um, get them into your variable. Or sorry, not variable. Get them into your script is, you know, you go ahead and make a variable. So I'll just rename it to. I'm gonna get replicated storage, right? So I'm gonna do re local replicated storage is equal to game dot get service replicated storage these are there's a bunch more services like marketplace servers which you use for game passes there's roblox replicated storage there's a bunch more services but basically these are the these are the visual ones right and um but that's how you get the services so yeah now you obviously could just do game dot replicated storage but this might give you an error sometimes too so it's better to do game get service replicated storage so yeah anyways that's what that does so Obviously, that may seem a little that may seem a little bit useless right now because you guys don't even know what replicated storage does. But soon we'll be using it, so that'll be important. Anyways, so next, so find first child. Okay, so find first child. What does that do? Okay, oh sorry about that. <laughs> find first child. Basically, what it does is it finds the first child. Now, actually, let's go ahead and read about it. So if you go into part here. Um, I'm, I'm going to object browser, which you get by pressing view and then go to object browser right here. Um, if you click on part, find a part near the instance part. Um, pretty much every single thing, every instance has for find first child. These are pretty important ones, right? But um, basically what find first child does is it returns the first child that matches the name of the argument. Now that sounds a little bit confusing, but I'm trying to think of an example. Okay, so, okay, okay, look, here's how it works, right? So. 
for example, if you had um, a bunch of parts in your workspace, right? And they were all called, oh, oh my gosh, okay. Um, they were all called part, right? So they are part, part, and you know, part, okay? You could, if you did, oh crap. If you did game.workspace.part, what, what, what part am I getting? There's three things called part. Now basically what find first child does is it finds the first child of or finds just the first one, right? It just finds the first one called part. And obviously you'd put that in a variable too. So we'll do local part equals game dot workspace dot find first child part. Now this would work. If I were to do game dot workspace dot part, it would give me an error because it wouldn't know what part. So yeah. Anyways, um but there's also a much more useful reason to use this which is because it actually has a second parameter, as you can see here, which is an optional one. But um, basically what it does is um, it'll actually look for the first child, right, called part, but if there's nothing in workspace called part, it'll actually look inside of another thing. So like for example, you see how I have this folder, right? The folder's in the workspace, but the parts aren't. Well, the parts actually technically are, but they aren't directly in the workspace, they're, they're in the part. Now, if you ran this right now, it actually wouldn't find a part because it's looking only in the workspace. But if you put a comma here and type true, it would look not only in the workspace, but in the child's workspace of the child. So yeah, it would look all the way through. So yeah, but if you don't want that, then you can leave that empty or type false. So it wouldn't look there. So now it wouldn't find it. So yeah. Anyways, that's what uh, find first child does. Okay, now we got clone right here. Okay, so let's go. now clone, what does clone do? Okay, so clone, pretty simple, it clones a part, okay? You have a part, it'll make another one. Now let's go ahead and write some, let's write some code for it and show you what I mean. So we're gonna go ahead and make a big part, make it look cool. There we go, there we go. Okay, now we're gonna clone this part and duplicate it. Basically, this is how you duplicate stuff from the script. So how you do this is you could do part, or you, okay, so we're gonna get the variable called part, which is in game, no workspace part and then what we're gonna do now though is we could just do part clone right and this would work it would clone it but the thing is when it clones it would put it in the exact same spot so you wouldn't even notice it was there so you so you're probably thinking well if you want to if you want to clone it you got to move it around somewhere right so basically you would do uh, make another thing so you would you, you would clone it into a variable so local part 2 equals part dot or part clone and now I have the part two, and I can move it. So I can do local part two. Um, I don't know. Sorry, not local part two. We can do part two. Dot part two. Dot position is equal to vector three. Dot new, and then we can do one hundred one. Okay. So now we're gonna duplicate it and put it in the sky. So let me actually put a wait here so we can watch it happen. So yeah. Okay. I want to see that actually. Basically, yeah. Okay, so here, as you can see, there's no part in the sky, but it's waiting. It's going to duplicate the part and move it in the sky. So um, I'm zooming out. Let's see. Did, did it work? Did, did, it, did it? Okay, that, that didn't work. <laughs> I'm not sure why that didn't work. To be honest with you, I'm not really sure at all. Um, I think I have this syntax wrong, to be honest. But I, I don't. <laughs> okay, listen. Basically, what this does is it clones the part. Okay, it's pretty simple. That's what that's what it does. Now you can just delete it right away if you wanted to, but that, that's that's what it does. Okay. Now I, you guys actually. So that's what that's what cloning does, right? It make it duplicates the part, but make sure you equal it to another variable so you can manipulate the part. And actually, wait a minute. But before I actually skip on, let me get rid of this, and um, you will actually see it duplicate in the explorer here. But it, it didn't clone. I'm really confused. Okay, I'm not sure why I didn't clone. This is really weird. Maybe it's not cloning because... Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay. Okay, guys. So, <laughs> all right. I'm glad I forgot about this. Okay, guys. This is when it comes to scripting. Sometimes you forget stuff, okay? So, I'm sorry if I kind of forget stuff sometimes, but that's part of scripting. You got to try. You got to try stuff, and if it works, it works. Good. You learn something. If it doesn't work, well, then, you know, we'll try again. Try something else. So, yeah. I hope that that's pretty important to know when you're scripting. But anyways, basically, the reason why it actually didn't move is because the, the part cloned, right? It, it duplicated the part. But it doesn't know where to go. So I made part two, but it wasn't anywhere. 
it was actually just in the memory of the game, which is basically it means it's nowhere. So I can do I can do part two dot parent is equal to workspace, and now it would go in the workspace. So actually we'll do game dot workspace, but basically now it will actually duplicate. You'll see it there. So let me show you what I mean. So here we go. See, and now we got two parts. Now and they're in the same spot. Well, actually, they're moved over a little bit because I have collisions on. Well, actually, I'm off, but okay. But yeah, you see here, that's what they do, okay? It duplicates it, and now we have two parts. So, yeah. Okay. So, make sure you set your parent to after. Okay, or else it will know where to go once you duplicate. So, yeah, okay. Anyways, now for the last built-in function you need to know, which you actually already should know. I've taught you about them. Um, I've probably used them a few, quite a few times. But basically, you just destroy stuff, okay? You can do local part equals game dot workspace dot part and now I have my part here right and anything okay I have my part here and now I just do part dot destroy and basically what this function does is pretty simple it just destroys the part so now there's no part there anymore okay it's it's gone all right so yeah that's pretty much what that does so you guys have learned quite a bit in this tutorial you've learned about destroying you've learned about um, find first child, you learn about wafer child, and you learn about get children, and you learn about get service. So yeah, if these and none of these make sense to you, please be sure to join the Discord server. The link is in the description, and ask your questions. Please, please do. Um, other people will help you, not just me. And also leave a comment if you can on the Discord server. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. It was a quite a long one, but it's some um, pretty important stuff. It wasn't too complicated. I hope it wasn't too complicated. At least I don't think it is. But uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm so quiet too. I'm sorry if like you guys didn't like the ASMR. You gotta got just deal with that for now. <laughs> I mean, no, the next tutorial will be fine. So don't worry. But um. Yeah. Anyways, guys, that's the end of the tutorial, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.